when a lot of people are predicting house prices will come down because the seller will pay less of a commission and take that difference and give it to the buyer. Sellers aren't made that way. When the seller lists a home, they want the most money they can get. So they're going to take yeah. any savings and put it in their pocket. The cost of housing, I believe, will go up because it has been going up. It's been go going up for the last five years despite the dire state of the shortage of houses. So uh, house prices have gone up 6% this year alone. Mortgage interest rates have risen unprecedentedly since 2000, causing mortgage demand to plummet to a 27-year low. Despite this trend, renowned Shark Tank mogul Barbara Corcoran suggests a different approach. She's purchasing more houses despite the high rates. Wondering why? Stay tuned as I lay down all the facts about the housing market, why prices have steadily grown for the last five years, the effect of taxes on house prices, and the golden rule we could get from Barbara. Let's get started. The price of house steadily growing up from the last five years. The cost of housing will go up because it's been on an upward trend for the last five years despite the dire shortage of houses. Although home prices slump a bit in 2024, the price of homes continues to rise, according to some research firms like Freddie Mac and Zillow, specializing in real estate forecasts. This is what Corcoran said. All right, so one of the things I was getting from one of your recent comments, you said that the cost of selling homes will likely go down, but that doesn't mean that the price of those homes will go down. It would no. Distinguish. What no, it's very different. A lot of people are predicting house prices will come down because the seller will pay less of a commission and take that difference and give it to the buyer. Sellers aren't made that way. When the seller lists a home, they want the most money they can get, so Human they're going to take yeah. any savings and put it in their pocket. The cost of housing, I believe, will go up because it has been going up. It's been go going up for the last five years despite the dire state of the shortage of houses. So uh, house prices have gone up 6% this year alone, but the real deal is there's not enough houses to go around. There's probably five buyers for every house out there. Is that right? If you look in the Southwest, prices are going up. In some cities, prices are rebounding by 20% in six months. Another area where prices will continue to rise in South Florida, just as Barbara said. Someone was asking me if you could find a great deal in Florida anymore. And I said, Florida is over, meaning getting a great deal because prices were still going up. And it is the case. It's very hard to find a house in Florida. So you never get a good deal, really, if you want to get a bargain basement. According to the monthly home sales report from the Miami Association of Realtors, home prices are now 1% to nearly 16% higher than in January 2023 in Miami-Dade and Broward counties. That's because homes aren't being built fast enough to keep up with demand, which puts upward pressure on prices. Amid other macroeconomic uncertainties, the one factor that would push real estate upward is more supply, according to the industry leader. The housing market has had a bumpy ride with high mortgage rates and a lack of house demand. With the potential for interest rates to be cut within the year, an influx of home buyers is looking to enter the market, increasing demand with a low housing supply. According to the Mortgage Bankers Association's Seasonally Adjusted Index, total mortgage application volume fell 1.3%. In comparison, the average contract interest rate for 30-year fixed-rate mortgages with conforming loan balances increased to 7.41% from 7.31%, with points decreasing to 0.71 from 0.72. Here is a CNBC report. Well, Becky, we just got the latest weekly mortgage applications report, another drop in demand, and this after a report yesterday showing a far wider than expected drop in sales of newly built homes. The 30-year fixed jumbo mortgage rate increased to 7.34%, the highest rate in the MBA jumbo rate series dating back to 2011. Potential buyers are facing an unprecedented dynamic of a historically low supply of homes for sale, coupled with rising interest rates and prices. Higher interest rates historically throw cold water on home prices but the supply and demand imbalance is so severe that it pushes prices higher even more. Even sales of newly built homes, which have been rising due to the short supply on the resale market, took a hit in August, according to another report this week. Sales dropped nearly 9% from July's pace in August, hitting the lowest since March 2023. 
Let's watch CNBC report on this. Now, let's look at new home sales, shall we? New home sales, 675,000 seasonally adjusted annualized units. That is the weakest since March. Although you're likely in a tough spot if you've been in the market to buy a home, it may get more difficult if you wait until the rate drops. While you may be tempted to wait for interest rates to drop, you could be dealing with a surge in home prices if you wait too long. This is exactly what one of America's most prominent figures of commerce, finance, and real estate has unveiled. During a Fox Business interview, real estate entrepreneur and Shark Tank star Barbara Corcoran shared her prediction for when the housing market may see its next drastic shift, how home prices will rise, and how much she expects them to increase. This is what she said when asked by the news anchor. Tell us exactly what you see, and let's separate these, residential real estate. What we really have holding up the market is the bottleneck that's, uh, that's out there. Sellers don't want to move from their apartment or their home because they don't want to take on higher interest rates, and buyers are too afraid because they're getting less house. In fact, they're getting half the house they would have only two years ago. Different taxes applied in buying a house. All homeowners must account for regular expenses behind their mortgage payments, and one of the most reliable of these is their property tax. Taxes like this are based on the value of your home and are calculated on a local basis. How much you pay depends on your state and municipal tax rates and your property's current value. According to the Tax Foundation, New Jersey has the highest tax rate in the country at 2.47, followed by Illinois, Connecticut, New Hampshire, and Texas. Hawaii has the lowest at 0.29%. Although a recent report found that home prices experienced their first annual decline in 11 years, Corcoran noted that is not the case everywhere in the U.S. Just as she said, prices are decreasing in the coastal areas because houses there are not so affordable. House prices in popular coastal towns such as Byron Bay have slumped by as much as $614,000 as higher interest rates make it tougher for sellers to hold on to their holiday homes and for hopeful buyers to qualify for a loan. Analysis by CoreLogic shows that home values in 27 coastal towns plummeted by more than $200,000 from their pandemic highs two years ago, while 56 towns lost more than $100,000. Lower interest rates will equal higher home prices. Isn't that surprising? Americans are experiencing high prices due to rates, but Corcoran insists that home prices rise if the interest rate plummets. According to the mogul, we are currently experiencing a bottleneck in the real estate market, but it won't last forever. Sellers don't want to move from their apartment or home because they don't want to take on higher interest rates, and buyers are too afraid to buy because they are getting a house that isn't worth the price. All hell will break loose when those interest rates come down and prices will go through the roof. Let's hear it from her. I can't explain the rates going up or down. That's not my ballywick. But what I can explain is if rates go down just another percentage point, that's what I'm hoping for by year and prices are going to go through the roof. As Corcoran said, sellers are staying put right now, but they won't if interest rates go down by two points because it'll signal people to rush back and buy like crazy. If that happens, which is high by probability, house prices will likely go up by 20%, and by that, we may be battling with a COVID-era market again. Housing shortage. The housing shortage is a big reason why prices are still high. America is short around 3.4 million homes. Even if 2024 is a year of solid home construction, the total housing deficit will remain in the 1.5 million to 2 million range with a shortfall of 1.1 million single-family housing units. That's why the rush for a home will double and prices will also increase. Corcoran also commented that probably 10 buyers are on the sidelines waiting for interest rates to come down, so everyone would just charge at the market immediately after it falls. Corcoran's Golden Rule of Real Estate Like many investors, Corcoran built her portfolio from scratch. She borrowed $1,000 from her then-boyfriend and started her property management business after a string of different unsuccessful jobs. 
During this period, she developed her golden rule, which calls for investors to put 20% down on properties and get tenants whose rent payments cover the mortgage. The property will appreciate over time, and the tenant's rent will become residual income as the mortgage is pawned. Eventually, the mortgage is paid off and all the tenant rent, minus insurance and property taxes, will become pure monthly profit for the owner. Corcoran has used this for 40 years, reflecting on her net worth. You have less than two months to decide, as we expect the Fed to cut rates around June. If what Corcoran predicted became the truth, you would regret it if you didn't take the necessary steps now. Are you interested in that or do you have a different view? Let me know in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more insightful content.